Hello ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the South Iron High School and we're going to show you the ultimate mousetrap car. You see, the difficulty with a mousetrap car is managing to get it to roll as far as possible with only the energy of a mousetrap. This is difficult because friction is the main thing that stops us from moving. We've reduced friction to a bare minimum with this design with only two wheels. LP records make great wheels. From this view, you can see that the car centers around a 1 8 inch brazing rod. That 1 8 inch brazing rod has been threaded at both ends to allow two 632 nuts and a pair of washers to hold the long play record in place. In the middle, it's been drilled with a 1 16 inch hole. You can just barely see that 1 16 inch hole. And that 1 16 inch hole will allow the string to wrap around the axle. The other end is put together the same way. The chassis of the car is just a piece of wood carefully drilled with a pair of brass tubes placed inside the holes. This serves as bushings. On the other side the mousetrap has a notch cut out of it and it's placed in position so that it will allow us to pull on that string the most possible. The string is cut to exactly the right length so that it will pop free at the very end and allow the car to freewheel and this is where most of our motion is actually going to come from. Let's load the car. Loading the car is probably the most difficult thing on the whole car. We hold the mousetrap free, thread a short piece of the fishing line, this is 30 pound test, through the hole, again more difficult to do than to say. There we are, threaded through the line. Make sure there's no tension on the line or it'll just simply pop out. And we have the car nicely wound. We'll slide everything nice and even, set it, and the car is ready to go. Now we're going to have to go out in the hallway to do the okay, car. So here we are out in the hallway and we're getting ready to uh, see how far it'll go. I've got everything loaded and ready to go and uh, the thing that'll determine how straight the car goes is actually whether your records are identical size. I've tested this and I know it curves a little bit so I've got it aimed a little bit off to the right and it'll curve back to the left. Hopefully I aim it correct. And we're off. The mousetrap rolls forward. It doesn't have enough energy to pull itself off, but it keeps itself overbalanced, and that pulls it straight. You'll notice that the mousetrap is sprung, and that lets the string pull free, and now we're just freewheeling, and freewheeling, and freewheeling, and freewheeling, and freewheeling, and freewheeling. Lost a little energy on that bump. <laughs> 